Welcome to 501 Matli, where we work smart, not hard. In today's video, we're given this diagram that is placed on our grid, and we're to determine the area of the shaded region. Pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm gonna solve it this way using what is known as the shoelace theorem. So, in order to use the shoelace theorem, you have to first set up some coordinates. So if we say at that point where the one centimeter and the one centimeter intersect on the diagram is the origin zero zero, then we have our coordinates of three one, two three, four two, and one four. Now, in using the shoelace theorem, if you're not familiar with it, we then write those coordinates starting anywhere as we wish, going in an anticlockwise manner. So I can start with 4, 2, then 1, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, and I come back and end at the coordinate that I started with, 4, 2. Then, this is called the shoelace theorem because I will be doing a crisscross pattern for my calculations. And if you look at it, the numbers could represent the holes in the shoe and the crisscross lines of green and red are the shoelace. This is why it's called the shoelace theorem. So, how does it work exactly? Well, I'm going to crisscross my multiplication where first I multiply 4 times 4, which is 16. Then 2 times 1, that's 2. Next, 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 2 is 2. And finally, 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 4 is 12. Then, the calculations proceed as follows. All of the ones that are in green on the left-hand side there, I'm going to add those up. So 16, 1, 9, and 4 adds up to 30. Then, all the ones in red, I add those up as well. 2, 12, 2, and 12 adds up to 28. And then, I'm going to subtract those and find half of that difference and that will give me the area so 30 minus 28 is 2 half of 2 is 1 so the area of that shape which resembles the Star Trek emblem is simply 1 square centimeter did you get it right if so comment below and if you enjoyed this video as per usual hit that like button share with others and subscribe if you're new here.